Ready, go! How do you do? It's Mr. Moo. In my previous Stolen Hearts devlog, I showed you the aesthetic changes I made to the setting of this character, the Good Knight, and all of his levels. You gave me some great advice and feedback, which I am very grateful for. Well, it turns out I have three more characters that I need more advice and more feedback on. And since that last devlog, I have been working on my gravity-bending bear Bongo and the world that he lives in. When I initially thought of Bongo, I wanted him to be in a bustling city. And not just any city, one specifically inspired by my hometown, the Big Apple, NYC. My first go at it looked like this. Hey Magical Art Fairy, what do you think? I know just what to do with this. Alright, V2, but really V5. It needs some life, maybe some lights, some billboards, just some movement in general. Last time, when I was working on The Good Night, I went to Fiverr for a background, and it worked out swimmingly. So I did another order with the same seller, and I said, I'll have another, and gave him a picture of Times Square as reference. And here it is, a Times Square inspired pixel art background. The Fiverr seller made a bunch of advertisements for signs and billboards, which looked good, but they meant nothing to me. And as we all know, this is an accurate depiction of our solar system. I am the sun, doo 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 doo. I am the sun. I say, whoa, Pluto, get back in orbit. Just because you're not a planet anymore doesn't mean you get to do whatever you want. I filled the billboards with some personal easter eggs, and with a simple script in Unity, animated them. Now I've ad for things like, my favorite travel destination, sunny Hawaii, lobster dinner anyone? Who's this handsome lad? And since Bongo is constantly switching gravity around, I thought that in this city, some of the buildings also got gravity confused, so I flipped half of them upside down. Meanwhile, I tried Fiverr again, but this time for music, and although the delivery wasn't bad, it wasn't really what I was looking for. So. I said goodbye to $115. Please, 115, don't leave me. I have to go. But I love you. I know. I got my brother and his friend on the case. Let's call them Ert and Bernie, because that's what they wanted to be called. They're talented musicians more than capable to do the job. And they deliver this sick city slickin' song. <laughs> Now on to the tiles, so I spent a ton of time in the lab workshopping different looks. Eventually I came up with these animated tiles, hit it up with some emission and bloom, and now finally I got some futuristic city vibes, exactly what I was going for. The background image was a bit distracting though, especially with all the animation, so I added a few layers of these lines to fade the background, increase the contrast, and played around with some motion. Now I feel the background matches the tiles and the right vibe, and Bongo can easily be seen without the background taking away from the character in the foreground. Next, I wanted to deal with these dog houses. They're used as a mechanic to change the gravity, but visually, they just don't fit in. So I needed to come up with something else. And what do cities have? Vending machines, of course. But I've been struggling to solve a different problem I've noticed with people that have tested the game. It's not visually intuitive how this mechanic works. Even with the arrows, it can be difficult to find what you're looking for. I need it to be more obvious, so I assigned each gravity direction a color. I have to make sure that they can easily be differentiated from each other for accessibility reasons. As some of you may have noticed last time, I don't really know how color works. I used four colors as far away from each other as possible on the color wheel. Now each vending machine is color-coded to communicate which direction it will change the gravity to along with the arrow. And I also made the tiles change to the color of the active gravity so that all the vending machines with different gravities from the active gravity will pop out. Another big mechanic for Bongo's levels are these gravity blocks as I call them. Each are affected by specific gravitational directions. For example, these just move up and down, denoted by the arrows. So if the up or down gravity is enabled, the block will move accordingly. Whereas these will be affected by the left and right gravities. 
and the red ones move inversely. So if the down gravity is enabled, then the block will move upwards and vice versa. The player uses these blocks to navigate the world and solve puzzles. And I need a way to communicate how these blocks work. Also, they're absolutely hideous, so all of that will need to be fixed. And I came up with this design. The gravity colors and the position on the blocks will explain how the block will move. Currently, the down gravity is enabled, which is denoted by blue. So the blue side is glowing, but the orange side stays dark. If I turn on the up direction gravity, denoted by orange, then it will move upwards. This one does the opposite, since the orange is on the bottom side and the blue is on the top. The blue slash down gravity gravity will make the block move upwards and the orange gravity will make the block move downwards. What do you think? Does this make sense to you? Let me know in the comments. I also changed the rest of the prefabs related to this environment, like replacing these spinning saws with this red and black vortex that will kill you and change moving platforms from looking like this to this. I changed the park bench to a street light and there you have it. The redesign of Upside Down City. Nah, I'll come up with a better name. If this game seems at all interesting to you, it would be a massive help to me if you can wishlist it on Steam, link in the description. Last time you told me the colors of the tiles were what I needed to work on the most, so I'm still trying to rework those tiles based on your suggestions. Let me know any suggestions that you might have for this environment. And I have three other environments I need to do this for, so it's back underground for me. If you like the video, then like the video. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider subscribing. In any case, I'll see you next time. Peace.